Imagine taking a single photo and within seconds, yes, seconds, transforming it into a fully animated 3D version of yourself that can dance, jump, or even recreate your favorite TikTok trend. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not anymore. Today, we're diving into LHM, a breakthrough technology that's making 3D human animation accessible to everyone, not just technical experts with expensive equipment. But first, let me ask you, have you ever tried creating a 3D model of yourself? If you have, you know the painful reality. Hello, I'm Polly and you're watching Polyphase. So, Creating realistic 3D human models has traditionally been a nightmare. You either needed specialized knowledge of complex 3D modeling software, multiple cameras for photogrammetry, or expensive 3D scanners costing thousands of dollars. Even then, making these models animatable, that's a whole other challenge requiring rigging, skinning, and technical expertise most of us don't have. The alternatives weren't much better. Earlier, AI solutions produced models that looked, well, let's be honest, like something from a PS2 game. Blocky geometry, blurry textures, and faces that barely resembled the original person. And if you wanted a model that could actually move naturally, you'd be looking at hours or even days of processing time on powerful hardware. What if I told you researchers have found a way to solve all these problems at once? Enter LHM, the Large Animatable Human Reconstruction Model created by researchers from Tongyi Lab and Alibaba Group. LHM can take a single photo of a person and transform it into a high quality 3D model that maintains their identity, clothing details, and can be animated with realistic motion all in just a few seconds. No special cameras, no complex scanning setups, no hours of technical work, just one photo and a bit of patience. What makes LHM special isn't just its speed, it's the quality. Previous fast methods produced models that looked generic with flat textures and limited detail LHM preserves the unique characteristics of clothing, captures facial features accurately, and creates models that actually look like the person in the photo. Let's take a closer look at what makes this possible. At its heart, LHM uses something called a multimodal transformer architecture. But don't worry if that sounds like technobabble. Here's what it means in practice. When you feed LHM a photo, it first analyzes the image to understand the overall shape and posture of the person. Then it pays special attention to the face using a technique called head feature pyramid encoding to capture those subtle details that make someone recognizable. The system doesn't just create a static 3D model, it builds one that's ready for animation from the start. It understands how bodies move and deform, allowing the generated avatar to be posed naturally. For the technical viewers out there, LHM uses 3D Gaussian splatting for rendering, which is partly why it can produce such high quality results so quickly. The most impressive part, all this happens in a single forward pass, meaning no back and forth optimization that takes hours. Just one pass through the neural network and your model is ready. But how do you actually use this technology? That's what we're covering next. LHM can be used in several ways, but the most exciting recent development is the Comfy UI integration released in April 2025. Comfy UI provides a visual workflow that makes the whole process intuitive. You upload your image, select a motion sequence, or upload your own video to extract motion from, and with a few clicks, you have an animated 3D human. Here's the really impressive part. With the Comfy UI workflow, you can generate a 10 second animation in just 20 seconds of processing time. That's a level of speed that makes iteration and experimentation actually practical. 
For those who prefer a simpler approach, there's also a Gradio interface that provides a straightforward web UI. Just upload an image, choose a motion, and click Generate. If you're more technically inclined, you can run everything from the command line for batch processing or integration into other workflows. But maybe you're wondering, what kind of hardware do you need to run this? That's where things get interesting. The team behind LHM has released several versions of the model to accommodate different hardware setups. The newest edition, LHM Mini, can run on consumer GPUs with just 16 gigabytes of memory, making this technology accessible to many more people. For better quality, there's LHM 500 MHF, which takes about two seconds per frame and supports both full body and half body input images. And for those seeking the highest quality, LHM1 BHF produces the most detailed results, though it requires more powerful hardware and takes about 6.5 seconds per frame. What if you don't have a powerful GPU at all? No problem. There are online demos available through Hugging Face and Model Scope where you can try the technology right in your browser. Now let's talk about what really matters. What can you actually do with this technology? The applications of LHM extend far beyond just making cool avatars for fun. For content creators, it opens up new possibilities for character animation without needing a motion capture studio. Imagine creating an animated short with yourself as the star or populating your YouTube thumbnails with 3D versions of yourself in different scenarios. Game developers can quickly prototype characters based on real people, saving countless hours in the modeling and rigging process. For education, teachers can create engaging visual aids showing human movement, perfect for subjects like anatomy, sports science, or dance instruction. Fashion designers can visualize how clothing drapes and moves on different body types without physical prototypes. And for personal use, Imagine creating a digital version of yourself for virtual presentations, social media content, or even preserving a 3D model of how you look today. One particularly interesting use case I've seen is people creating 3D models from historical photos, bringing ancestors to life in a way that was never possible before. But before you get too excited, there are some limitations we should discuss. LHM isn't perfect, very complex clothing with lots of layers or unusual geometry might not be captured perfectly. Extreme poses can sometimes result in artifacts or distortions. The higher quality models still require substantial GPU memory, though this is improving with each release. And while facial identity is preserved quite well, very detailed textures might be slightly simplified in the final model. The research team continues to work on these limitations with plans to release training code and further optimizations. Based on their rapid progress so far, from requiring high-end workstations to running on consumer hardware in just a few months, it's exciting to imagine what they'll achieve next. But even with these limitations, what LHM can do today was virtually impossible just a year ago at this speed and quality level. We're witnessing a fundamental shift in how 3D human models are created. What once required specialized equipment and technical expertise is now becoming accessible to anyone with a camera and a computer. LHM represents a significant step in this democratization of 3D content creation, bringing professional level capabilities to a much wider audience. If you want to try LHM yourself, check out the GitHub repository linked in the description. For those without the technical setup, the online demos are a great place to start experiencing the technology. Have you tried creating 3D models before? Let me know in the comments how tools like LHM might change your creative workflow or what you'd create if you could make an animatable 3D version of yourself in seconds. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into cutting edge AI, hit subscribe for more explorations of technologies that are transforming creative possibilities. Until next time, happy creating. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps our channel to grow. 